हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सिस्टम द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ट्रांसडूसर इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन लिटल बिट इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द ट्रांसडूसर we know that the transducer is a electronic device or a device which converts one form of energy which converts one form of energy into the another form okay and we can define electronic transducer as the electronic transducer is a device that is used to convert a physical quantity into its corresponding electrical signal that means we can say that the electronic component electronic transducer is a device which converts the physical quantity into the electrical quantity we know that the physical quantity can be temperature pressure displacement flow vibration sound etc okay and its equivalent quantity is its equivalent means voltage current resistance etc i hope you will understand the basic function of the transducer let's see once again transducer is a device which converts one form of energy into another form okay and if we see the electrical transducer or electronic transducer then we can say that it converts physical quantities into its equivalent electrical quantities physical quantities may be temperature pressure displacement flow vibration sound etc and electrical quantities may be voltage current etc okay this is the block diagram of the transducer in which we can say that in transducer there are two blocks first one is sensing element and second one is transduction element let's see what are the functions of the sensing element and the transduction element the sensing element is at the input side and it is also called as the sensor okay the physical quantity is sensed and responded by this part of the transducer in previous video also we seen that the physical quantities are sensed by the sensor okay the signal produced by the sensor is equivalent to the quantity to be measured that means in first part of the transducer the first block is sensor and the function of the sensor is to sense the physical quantity and produces its equivalent output okay then the second part is the transduction element this element is respond responsible for converting non electrical signal into its proportional electrical signal that means whatever the output produced by the sensing element it is not necessary that is it is in the electrical form okay to make this form into electrical one we have to use the transduction element the function of the transduction element is very simple that it converts non electrical quantities into the electrical quantities okay or into the electrical signal i hope you all understand the function of the transducer let's see once again this is the block diagram of the transducer in which the first part is sensor the function of the sensor is to sense the physical quantities and produces the equivalent output the e output may be in non electrical form hence to convert this non electrical form into electrical form that means into voltage or current we require the transduction element i hope you all understand the concept of transducer now let's see the difference between sensors and transducers let's see first definition the definition of sensor is sense sensor senses the physical changes occurs in the surrounding and converting it into a readable quantity that means the sensor senses the physical quantity 
the definition of transducer is the transducer is a device which when actuated transform the energy from one energy one form to the another form that means the sensor senses the physical quantity and transducer converts one form of energy into the another form while if we see the electrical transducer or electronic transducer it converts any form of energy into electrical form of energy okay the sensor's components are the sensor itself and the transducer components are sensor and signal conditioning here signal conditioning means transduction element okay the function of the sensor is to detect the changes and induces the corresponding electrical signal and the function of the transducer is conversion of one form of energy into the another form the example of sensors are proximity sensor magnetic sensor accelerometer sensor light sensor barometer gyroscope etc and the examples of the transistors are thermistor potentiometer thermocouple etc okay i hope you all understand the basic difference between sensor and transducer the main difference is that sensor senses the physical quantities and produces its equivalent output and the function of the transducer is to convert one form of energy into the another form okay now let's see the next point actuator an actuator is a device that moves or controls some mechanism actuator turns a control signal into mechanical action such as electrical motor alternatively an actuator is a something that converts energy into the motion okay that means if we see this block diagram then we can see that the energy and signal given to the actuator and the output is the motion or force that means the input signal of the actuator is the electrical signal and the output is the motion or force i hope you all understand the concept of actuator okay now let's see the difference between actuator and sensor first of all make it clear that there are two types or two parts first one is sensor and second is actuator then what is the difference between sensor and actuator the main difference is that at input side of the instrumentation system we connect sensor and at the output side of the instrumentation system we connect actuator this is the difference between sensor and actuator the first difference is that a device that detects events or changes in the environment and sends that information to the other electronic device is called as sensor while the actuator is a component of a machine that is responsible for moving and controlling mechanism is called as actuator the sensor is connected to the input port of the system while the actuator connected to the output port of the system the sensor help to monitor the changes in the environment and the actuator helps to control the environment or physical changes the sensor output is an electrical signal while the actuator output is a motion or a movement the example of a sensor are bio sensor image sensor motion sensor chemical sensor etc and the most example of the actuator is electric motors stepper motors control devices and hydraulic cylinders i hope you all understand the basic difference between sensor and actuator now our next point is the selection criteria of a transducer that means if we want to build an instrumentation system then what type of transducer we should use the selection criteria depends on the following points the first one is the operating principle the transducers are selected on the basis of operating principle it may be resistive inductive 
or capacitor. Second one is operating range. The range of the transducer should be appropriate for measurements to get good resolution. The third point is accuracy. The accuracy of the transducer should be high. Next point is sensitivity. The transducer should be more sensitive to produce the output. Okay. The next point is error. The error produced by the transducer should be low. Next one is loading effect. The transducer should have high input impedance and low output impedance to avoid loading effect. The next is uses and ruggedness. The transducer must be rugged and easily usable. And the last point is stability and reliability. The transducer should exhibit high degree of stability and reliability. These are the eight points on which we can select our proper transducer. The first one is operating principle. That means whatever or uh, which type of system we want to build, then such operating principle transducer should be used. It may be resistive, inductive or capacitive. The operating range of the transducer is very important. The accuracy of the transducer should be high. It should be highly sensible for the low output. Then it should be introduced lowest error. Okay. The loading effect of the transducer should be low. It should be easily usable and it should be rugged to use. And it should have high degree of stability and reliability. I hope you understand the concept. Thank you.